Do you have a uh, do you have a number in mind? Uh, sixty nine. I <laughs> I would love to shoot sixty nine today. I think that would be really poetic. Hi man, we are we have a mission today. We're heading to Jack's Beach. We're answering an age-old question. Can you break par at your home course from the red keys? A classic Mr. Nicholas, you know, wouldn't let his kids move back to the uh, you know, to the, the back keys until they break par from the reds. Some have questioned my course management in the past. He is uh, notorious, I would say, for being a poor course manager. I've efforted many, many times over the years to to break I just can't get through to this kid. I can't get through. He's got so much potential. But I think he needs to hear some of this stuff from someone other than me. Uh, along with moving the tees up, um, you know, I'm gonna be working with uh, with a pro to get deep in my process. The pro is Maddie Kelly, uh, Mark Leishman's caddy, fresh off uh, top 10 at the Masters. I hear some other someone else say the same things to him. He's like, oh, that's actually really interesting. <laughs> so Solid, think, I don't, I don't want to burst your bubble. I've been telling him this shit since we were like eight <laughs> years old. I, I go back to when we did tour sauce at Secession, and I bet him that he couldn't go 18 holes without hitting one over the green. And what did he shoot that day? 74. Total, 73. 73. That was a total coincidence. That had nothing yeah. to do with not hitting it past and the And it pit. just, again, by the next day, it was gone. <laughs> like, totally gone. Oh, I can go back over greens Watch again. how fucking far I can hit this one. <laughs> it's been very well documented. What happens when he gets at or around par, he completely shits, shits his pants. Uh, so from an up tee, he should have plenty of opportunities for birdies and eagles today at Jack's Beach. Uh, it's going to be a really interesting look just to see mentally what, what happens when he you know, it, this is the Jacques Cousteau challenge. How, how low can you go? But it'll be interesting. I mean, just because you shorten the course up, there's still a lot of water. I'm going to have to get good iron shots. I'm going to have to make some good decisions out there. So I'm excited to, uh, you know, see what, uh, see what Maddie and I can do. So sick. But since you haven't hit a shot yet, I would suggest we just... Yeah. I mean, I'll, there's no doubt you could probably hit on the green from here. Yeah. But I thought you'd open up with 180 yards. Oh, love that. Um, six or seven on a show. Yeah, actually. I think just a comfy six. Yeah, perfect. Feels really nice. So all ready to start. I mean, usually you're you're petrified at Jack's Beach pulling driver. OB right, water left. Can I just say off the bat, I love you, Maddie. I don't like this decision. Why is that? I'd send it up by the green. That's the whole thing. Like you got to create some scoring opportunities right off the bat. This is one of the worst designed greens in America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of that lone palm. Yeah, perfect. Oh no. <laughs> like the most unforced of unforced errors. That's, a, that's an early swing there. Fresh out of the car, strike yeah. from the car. All right, hate to see that. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. oh, oh yeah, we're fine. All right, let's be sensible here, huh? Triple track, that's it, number one. Can I, can I move stuff in a hazard? Yep. As, as he's picking it up. <laughs> Can I move this? Try, probably trying to hit it 110 yards anyway. Try and get it, well, if you can, obviously, but. Ah, that's gonna be a long day with wet socks. <laughs> Why is he not taking his socks off? Just getting in there. You can also take a drop. No, I, I think, I think it, we're just, we're chipping, just chipping it out, it out yeah, here. Right. Hit it hard. God, that was so not worth it. <laughs> Just take the drop. You weren't gonna get it very take far. Take the drop or take the shoes off. You gotta, you gotta commit. Can we get that one out? We'll take a try. <sighs> Should have done that the first time. All right. This is kind of akin to your your start. Very similar to my start. It's nerve wracking on the, you know, when you get in the film room. It's tough. Go a little. Oh, don't go. I got no clue. <laughs> the no warm up. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, Caddy making excuses for you though. That's helpful. Yeah, that is. A lot of golf left. Solly, where do you want to make a triple if you make it? That's right. See, he listens to you. <laughs> <laughs> that was more mocking than I think it was actually <laughs> heeding the lesson. Saddle. Go in. 
Go in. Great shot. Okay. Calm the nerves a little yeah, bit. Yeah, there you go. Come <laughs> on, man. All right. All right. You know Shut what? I, I hesitate to say it. that was a good six. <laughs> yeah, it was. You know, we ridicule him a lot, but Neil has gotten so much better. Like he, he's gotten better at scoring. He's gotten better around the greens. His short game's really underrated. On eight footers, when he gets going, is like dead center. Yeah. Not like lipping him in. I think driver here. I like driver. Yeah, okay. I think it takes the water out of play. Nice. Beauty there. This is where I, you got to be aggressive. We're going to play these red tees. You got to go get the birdies. That's what the test is good, out here. Good ball there. Perfect. Yes, Shot. sir. Well, I mean, listen, that chipping is encouraging. <laughs> We're going to need that. If you have that shot at Jack's Beach, yeah. the little Jump. like pitching wedge, nine iron, whatever Hard that shot. is, All which right. is very leash. It's a very leash shot to play, actually. So Maddie must be, must be seeing these comfortably, too. Oh. Always want to do that. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Hands are a little jittery. Maybe too much coffee. Can I warm up in a coffee straight out of the car? Yeah. All right, that was a nervy one. Nine shots in the first two holes? That's, we'll, we'll take we'll that, take man. that. Totally take that. I, th I, I agree, back left's not bad, but obviously, you know, just short right of the pin's not gonna kill you either. Okay. Like a 115 yard shot. Oh, no. Catch a piece. All right. All right, that ain't bad. That's safe, though. Yep. Yeah, it's, I think it's going to go gently that way, yeah. yeah. You think it's going to so work back to the right at the end? Yeah, I would start it. I mean, left off here, I would start just right, like, right edge of the hole. Okay. Oh, no. Go. Go. Kind of shaggy. Thought I hit that good. Oh, all right. Good pop. Hitting cups today? Hitting of cups. Of course we're hitting cups. We always, we always hit cups in the film room. That one leaked. <laughs> <It's well laughs> right Even if it's the side of the cup. It's kind of the first real putt we've had. Yeah. So we can we can hammer them a little bit, I think. It's, uh, we got to hit the big stick. I agree. I mean, we don't have to, but. But uh, no, it's a it's lot of reward for a good one here. Yeah. And then we have a wedge into a part five. We, we take advantage of that. Softly. Calm down. Softly. Provocative angle. Stay there. All right. <laughs> Woo! All We're right. in despair. We're not worried about that Didn't one. expect that one to turn over. <laughs> yeah. He knew it was soft up there. I think it's just a comfy pitching wedge. Yeah, I agree. And that's, I mean. I mean, you got a backstop too, so you can yeah. give it a little bit if you need to. Uh oh. All right. All right. That yep. worked. Good shot. Yeah. He had me worried. It's, it's like when the crowd. When, when he starts moving, I was like, oh, did I nuke <laughs> that one? What? It's like when the crowd at the back of the green starts giving it I that know. one. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. So in this, Maddie does a, a thing I've never really heard right. of before. And on these short putts, Thank you know, you. I've always said like, you know, a left Let's edge, go, inside baby. left, you know, left center, whatever Let's that means. He described that putt there pause. as left side of the ball on the left side of the hole. Like that was a visualization I never had before of like this ball and keep this entire ball inside the cup and you're going to make it. And that really helped Neil, I think. 104. Okay. With touch of help with front, with short band. Okay. God, I flared it again. Come on, miss it. That's a that's a bad miss for 104. He just he struggles when his his hips get out in front and his swing gets a little bit disjointed. Where when he sh like he's so good when he shortens things 100%. up and just and just, just keeps it very simple. Like really short backswing and accelerates through the yeah. ball. He needed right there 104 flag, but like 92 front. Yeah. Get those two numbers in there, and you're not thinking about the 52 today. Yeah. You're thinking about a 58. Good chip, really good. All right, hold on, got a look. Oh, 
Good Bob, read. Such an incredible three there on the par three. What an amazing, <laughs> amazing job there. I'm super curious to see what he does here. I, I mean, do you still Are like you driver? Are you getting it over the trees though? I mean, no, no, don't. That, those, that tree line's fine. That's far enough out. I like driving. If it takes the water out of play, I like driving. Okay. I mean, I'm, it might not end up in the perfect spot, but if we're chipping, we can make four comfortably. Yep. And if we end up with a good one, we we go from there. This palm. Yep. Perfect. Right? I love that. Yep. It's got to be good, doesn't it? Oh man, be good. Yep, it's on. Go in. Just an awesome freaking golf <laughs> Great shot. Great shot. Fuck yeah, man. Good process. Let's go. Hell yeah. So as much as like I want to see Neil play like smart, I also want him to see him carry himself with the swagger of yeah. like that. Like this hole is mine yeah. now. Like I'm going to hit a fantastic shot. Green light. I'm going to set up an eagle putt here on the offensive, yet being tactical about it is where he needs to be. The hill's going to take most of the speed off of those, so you can be still pretty aggressive. Wouldn't worry about that downhill part. Okay. Pretty straight on top, I think. Go. Go. Kind of stubbed it a little. Damn it. No, I fanned it. That's such that's so bad. <laughs> that's such a like bad first putt. Alright. No damage. But again, that's a physical error. You know, that's yeah. not course management. It's it's not you know, it's not a gimme two putt. I mean no. it's but it's, it's a bad pin. You would like to two putt that. It's a great <laughs> pin. Worst pin in America. Good job, dude. Really good. Stay out that bunker. It's gotta be perfect. Um, so I've got I've got 58. Would do you do you? I would I would prefer just landing it into that hill. Yeah. Okay. Because if you land on the green, it's gonna go. It could end up where Solly is. Yeah. And then that's not the part we're after. At least if yeah. it's a great example of what you're talking about, Solly. Like put the exact picture in his head because Neil's so good at. If you tell him what to do, he's he's yeah. so good at doing it. You he know, it entertains a lot of options yeah. in his own head and then blends them all into one yes. bad decision. <laughs> and whereas Maddie just like says specifically, do this, 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 and this. He needs a producer and an editor. Exactly. Ah, too much. Down. See, Down. I got scared of that hill. God. All right. Just juiced it. I'm kind of in between here and here. Yeah, it's. Yep, firing that left one probably, but yeah. This one? Yeah. Okay. I mean, just right of that would be ideal. Yeah. Saddle. Okay, no problem. All right. Got one there. Good pop. Good read. Good four? Just another <sighs> mediocre right. four. That's there. what I was going to say. So we're one over through seven now, and, you know, 10 is what it is uh that's that double is is what it is but this is the highest he should three putt par on 15 is tough not getting not making a birdie there honestly or not even really having a look at birdie there is tough so i i agree i think one over through seven is about the worst he could be right now yeah what's your six on yardage normally in, in with like 185 190 and i don't mind long yeah i mean you don't have to you don't have to nuke it that's for sure okay you can almost hit a hard seven if you wanted to take right out of play if your hard shot should go left. I like the six iron. Okay, yeah. Hit it, Win. Hit Come it, on. Win. Should be enough club, though. Should be good. Bounce down there. Yeah, right, another eagle good. putt. Great shot. Thanks. Execution. Good club, actually, by yourself. There you go. Pa pause that for a second. So I love that. After he hits that shot, should be enough club though. Like so, that tells me he's really dialed into what their process was in terms of where that ball was going to land. If he knew he had enough that was going to cover the bunker, like that's as confident as I've ever heard him with a ball in the air, wondering how far it's going to go. It's not that he's not thinking about, okay, I need to cover this front bunker or I need to cover this front number. The, the problem is that his thought process typically stops after that, and then he just way overcompensates. So it's. You know, on this one, it might have been, okay, it's 175 over that front bunker. Let's hit something that's 190. So we totally take that front bunker out of play. And he forgets about the flag. He forgets about the back. He forgets about all that all that kind of stuff. And so that's where Maddie helps a ton. I'm seeing it falling left. That way? Yeah. Just a little bit, though. Yeah, so much. God, I love the line. All right.
Boom. Cash. Bang. Us two. Got it there. Let's go. You certainly got it there. Put a dent in the hole. <laughs> the bank's open. Folks, we are officially uh, under par. We are living under par. Carita. I've never met a player that gets more, like things are moving fast when they're playing good, rather than going making sixes right, and sevens. 380. 380 front? Yeah, and it says, it says 311 of the two trees straight out. All right, I'll say we just hit an, we're gonna hit two irons on the green. Yeah. So, like a four iron or something down there. I got a driving iron that I okay, like. Okay, perfect, yeah, I love it. So aggressive swing to a conservative target. Like that. Beauty. Hell yeah. That palm tree? Yeah, that one. Yep. That's <laughs> honestly like how Neil has to carry himself. You gotta carry yourself with some swagger. Like he he is look we can all enter the butthurt nation, but like internally I try to carry myself with some swagger. Like I can pull this shot off and I'm gonna pull it off. And I feel like Neil talks himself into some of the mistakes he makes before he even pulls the club back. Of course, of course I did that. <laughs> some of that might be having having thousands of people. <laughs> point out his mistakes <laughs> online, but that's a separate conversation. Could be true. First things first, we need to take this tree out of play. Yeah. So it's probably only 160 something front. Yeah. So let's try and hit it. Low 160s, 162, what's your club? Uh, eight iron? Yeah, I'd go you ahead like and hit, hit a good eight iron. Okay. It totally take that tree out right. of play <laughs> by, go, by going right over the center of it. Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. All right. Kind of a tricky one with the wind off the right. The last yeah. thing you want to do is like miss that left and. Well, I was thinking, yeah, it was like, don't, I didn't want to. Go, big bounce. All right, stay up there. Little tentative, but, but that's not going to hurt us. That's the mistake you had to make. Yeah. Ah. All right. All right. Dodge the landmines. Dodged them. Missed a couple opportunities. I'm very happy with where we're at. Front nine's where we're gonna we're gonna make some money out here. I mean, just can't you can't hit a six iron. You can't chloroform a six iron on the first tee. Just that can't happen. And then uh, lag putting, which has been an issue the past four or five months for me. So just making sure you're cozy in those. You know, that putt on 15 was frustrating. Maddie had a, a great line that we might make the mantra here: conservative lines. Aggressive swings. That's what we're. That's what we're taking to this this uh, back nine, the front nine here at Jack's Beach. What's uh, What's a good goal for this front nine? Uh, let's go get. Let's go get three more. You know, let's go get three more. Mm -hmm. And when we want to land this about 200 with, if anything, it's such a help. I think five ones more than enough. Okay, let's do that. Just a good solid one. You don't have to. Don't have to roast it. Don't feel like you have to bash one. But it's about 210 flag. Producers note: Neil wanted to hit driving iron, which goes about 235, 240. That was uh, very much. Wait, what do we even cover that bunker? Which would have taken the front bunker out of play for sure. <laughs> any, any would have been in the elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. But uh, Maddie puts five iron five in his iron. hand, not two iron. Just to be clear, we were three clubs off. Pretty good line. Carry it. Yep. Oh my yeah, good shot. God. <laughs> Talk about saving me a couple strokes, man. Great shot. Really good. My my thought was let's take the bunker out of play. Icarito! Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, man. Good tune. Well done. All right. Let's run downhill. We're running downhill, baby. We are. We're in the open field. Let's officially. go get three more. <laughs> the Jack's Beach Eagle Challenge. Seriously. We're aiming at the, over the corner of the right here. Especially so ordinarily on number two, yeah. when you're on the blue tees, you're thinking about basically either fitting it, you know, when you're as long as Neil, you're, you're thinking about basically fitting it between the two ponds if you have driver. Starting up the left with a, with a cut. But from these tees, like you've got the whole eighth fairway early, you can see to the right there. Like there. you can just blow it over that right pond. Yeah, we got 49 pen. Okay. <laughs> Bit of hurt. Yeah. Seems like it should be a 9 iron. 9 iron. Ah, a little choked. That's beat sit. on too. Sit. sit down. Get down. Sit. Fuck. Just hit that. Hit that hard. Nuked it. Yeah. I think it's that, that little bump. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can fly this one on the green because you got so much green to work with. Okay. Hit it. Sit. Still a little too much. All right. 
Well, I took the, I think we took the, took the flub out of play. I think it's just gonna go a little left. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Oh, Drippy. Right Drippy. Let's go. Oh, baby, let's go. Oh, I should grab the flag. It's no, I got you. <laughs> Come on, man. I got it too excited. I'm all jacked up. I wasn't this excited at Augusta. <laughs> we needed that one. If we would have had the, those two short par threes, if we would have had two pars on the little baby par fives, that, that wouldn't have been in the spirit of the experiment here. So all of a sudden we're four under. Yeah. I like that driving on again. Absolutely. Oh, stubby. But we like, that. that's so fine. Big bounce, big bounce. Yeah, club kind of turned in my hand a little. See, that, Matt, that's a good example. I'm already going to the back. I'm not, I'm not even looking. <laughs> Come on. You're keeping the game, bro. So I was going to kick left off that ridge, but yeah, we can aim at that. And if it goes left, it's fine. If it goes straight, it's fine. Let's go. Decent bounce. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, cut a little thin. Pretty much the same speed as the last part. Yeah, it did. Did go right, huh? Yeah. All right. Comfy, comfy par. Needed it. 78. We got Rip Hamilton. All right, let's see if he can get revenge on the... <laughs> 78 yards here <laughs> on the par three. He has sucked ass on the par three. Hustle. No, it's perfect. Oh. Good job. You didn't hear that. <laughs> Just felt a little. I, I'm still getting used to these. The, Ball's jumping. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> the ball's jumping. It's, it's 62 sea. degrees. It's, it's sea level. 8.30 in the morning. I got this one moving pretty pretty good to the right. Yeah. Downhill, obviously. All right. Learn right, a thing or two about stress-free pars. Also a good thing for Neil. Oh, God. <laughs> I honestly forgot that happened. Yippee. Oh, my God. I forgot that happened. Shit. Be aggressive, you schnitz. It's been sneaking up on me lately. All right. Listen, we got to get that out of the way. He is not this jolly when the cameras are not on. <laughs> Let's just get that documented. Of course, I, I can't help but think if anybody's watched Strapped, uh, you know, 12th hole, uh, 13th hole, the weird stuff starts to happen and of course there's no FaceTime with Solly but Solly happens to be sitting right there. You know I didn't accelerate through the putt but I'm glad we got that out of the way because it's just now I'm going to be resolute in my intention to you know hit the back of the hole on the short ones. Nicarito doesn't live here. No he doesn't not at home he's, he's, a, he's a, a migratory bird. <laughs> <laughs> he flew he flew south for the winter. All right 245. 230 front so those trees if you hit it a well struck three wood is nothing. It's flying those trees by 20 yards. Okay, so I like three wood straight to the green. Oh no. Chill. Chill. We are in the hazard. That's just hazard, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's red. That's fine. If it's not red, it. I was. <laughs> not the swing. All right. Oh God, we gotta look. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> it's an outrageous place to be. I've never seen anyone in front of the golf course. And the other one, if it's in your way, just make sure it doesn't. Yep. Do you think you can get this on the green? I mean, in your experience, what do you think happens when there's a big? It's gonna take a lot off it. Okay. We're almost better just taking a penalty drop from where it entered, making our five and. Scooting on, unless you just think you can get it on the green. No, let's do that. I think that that is a tough, tough line. We can still make four from back here. Yeah. Five at worst. We, we're, we bird the next. Give ourselves a chance here. All right. So just something low, landing short of the green, bouncing into the middle of the green, and try and make a putt. Yeah. And let's scoot out of here. Good shot. Yep. That's so good. What a play. Yep. Really good. Well done. Good decisions there. Just gotta roll that good in. Good eh? decisions, Maddie. That's dead strike now. Okay. Middle of the hole, middle of the hole. Okay. 
Huge. Good part. Fuck well yeah. done. Good job. <laughs> breathe, my friend. Sorry. Breathe. <laughs> Tell you what. Tell Leash, it helps to have you reinforcing those reeds, you know? Yeah. He shouldn't have he shouldn't be all be on his shoulders, you know? Well, uh, he's an excellent grain raider, so I don't, I don't blame <laughs> he's him. He's kinda good at that. <laughs> yeah. Gears are turning there on like, oh my god, I'm not gonna shoot under par. Right. Like it's it's gonna I'm gonna shoot two I'm gonna shoot two over. God, it's all on camera. <laughs> exactly. And he that is that takes so much stress off that that little pitch there. I do feel like triple tracks help Neil yeah. uh, uh commit to a line and be be objective about his putting. Two oh four, straight downwind. I like that six iron again with short being pretty good. Ah, oh, stubby too, but won't hurt me. Get up, Hustle. the green. Get up there. Fuck. Right. We're fine. We're so fine. Well, out of this lie, I like landing it short. Okay. You just, it's just got to be ball first. You could even, shit, you could even putt it if you wanted to out of that lie. You like that same kind of punchy shot I yeah, hit? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, we're just trying to creep this on the green. So, landing well short and chasing up there. Okay. Kill it. Well done. Really good. That was a good shot from that All right, wire, dude. Yeah, good idea. Well done. Ground game. The Aussies, man. That wasn't a good lie. That could have got sketchy. It's really freaking good, man. That's Maddie. That awesome. That's Maddie calling up calling up plays also. 99 people out of 100 are going to have a 60 degree wedge trying to land it on the, you know, land it two paces short and get it to stop and it's just not going to come out of that lie well. What amazes me though is Neil not being very in touch with his feels and that when he hit that he's like chill and Maddie's like no that's perfect. Like Maddie <laughs> has like a very good eye for how these balls are going to behave and Neil just like still doesn't quite have that yeah. vision. Yeah it's flat to slightly up so you can be aggressive. Uh, it wasn't aggressive, but <laughs> it limped in. That was a great line. God, he's making some putts, though. He man. really is pouring them in. I think we hit one less just to ensure we get it up. Okay. So four iron. The worst mistake we can make is hitting an iron in the trees. Here. Yeah. We brought off hitting nine iron over them if we want to go, you know. And I like going a little left, like you said. Yeah, yeah. Like through this, give myself a chance. That might be good pretty shot. good. Oh my God. <laughs> Stay, stay, stay. Fuck you. That was no. so cruel. That deserves so much better. Somewhere in here. Okay. And then we need to, it's gonna go right before that. So we have to start left of that. So I'm tr yeah, trying to get it to that. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Oh, Ooh. good pop. Gotta be thinking about that short miss on four. I'm thinking about it. Right edge of the ball and the right edge of the cup. All right. I've never thought of reading putts that way. Really? Awesome. Just gives you a good visual. Maddie, uh, Maddie completely switched here to game management mode. Yes. Just like, of course Neil can hit to the screen. Four corners offense. Let's hit six on it. Okay. Just trying to hit it short left the green. Obviously the left water's not in play. Yeah. So we can go at that that tree with the three prongs poking out of it. Boom. Perfect. Yep. Shut. All right. We want to make this as boring as possible. God, I'm dying to go out and play play Jack's Beach from the Reds. It looks so fun, doesn't yeah. it? Hustle. Yeah. Good one. That mud might help us stay on that hill. Yeah, a little, a little right early and then pretty straight. Okay. Oh, I did not hit it. All right. All right, 500 headed to the last. I, I feel good about this. I, I think There's we're no good. hazards on the last hole. We can start engraving his name with the trophy here. Ten feet left of this pin is worse than where he just hit that. Yeah. Yeah, it's uphill. It's, it's flat to the hole. It obviously goes off after the hole, but. Saddle, saddle, saddle. Ah. 
Juiced up. All right. Going back uphill now. Oh, hammered it. God. All right. Not bad. 67? 67. Four under. Did it. 68. Yes, sir. 77. Come here. Good work. Is it? Well done. Good plan. No, but I was three three under. You're four. Oh, I birdied seven. That's right. <laughs> Dude, work. hell yeah, man. Good stuff. That's exciting. Yeah. That's, re that's really cool, man. He managed his game. He, I, I don't think he hit... Like, he putted well, he had some great chips. I don't think he hit that many great iron shots or woods. He hit the right long iron shots when he needed to. Yeah. Like the, the ones on one, the one on 17, 17. the one on uh, seven. seven. I mean, it, it, high upside on those holes, and he was kind of clunky on the holes he could be clunky on and just make exactly. par easy pars. Yep. This is the best I've ever seen him at handling adversity. Like, there, it, I used to be this way too. If I was three over, I'd be like, all right, 75 is the best I can do today. <laughs> like, you just expect yourself to keep bleeding. But in reality, in golf, you can go out and make birdies, you can get shots back. And he, every time he made a dumb mistake, he walked to the next tee with like, all right, let's go get some. That's uh, that's wild, man. I what? can't believe we did that. Yeah, we did it. Oh, hey, sorry, get in so, here. Yeah, Come on. Sorry. First off, huge, huge credit to this guy. I think he saved me at least five or six strokes. The decision on one, I'm thinking like, oh, front bunker. Let's take front bunker out of play. It's 210 to the hole. I'm hitting, you know, I'm hitting driving iron. I'm like build. I'm not hitting. I'm not playing for a good shot. And you're like, dude, that's a five iron, right? Like. You know, you have to like kind of plan that you're going to hit it good, uh, which is something Solly says a lot too, but it just kind of clicks when someone's in your ear about it, like working your bag. Two Someone years. else is in your ear. Two years of me saying it, Matthew, <laughs> yeah. five Stroll. minutes. <laughs> well, I mean, he's a professional. He's a professional. I think we approach the course, normally you go out and you're like, oh, I'm going to play the red tees, I'm just going to bomb it. And I think we- still, You're still going to play smart no matter what tees you're playing. You're still got a good mix of drivers, long irons, wedges. As people can learn a lot from that. I think it's about going. To, you don't have to play the back tees every time you play golf. Yeah, have some fun with it. So I, the par threes were an interesting thing from the Reds. I I think you got wet. You know, it's it's gap wedge or or 58 degree, and you're almost like, oh, I ha I should put this close. It's all, you're like expecting that's a lot. That's where the pros would tear the red tees up. They would be birdieing nearly all of them just because yeah. it's sand wedge or lob wedge. But for amateurs, and it's not exactly easy to hit a 100-yard wedge shot. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot easier than hitting a 170-yard shot, but still no gimme, so. Well, I, I, yeah, he got excited, and sort of, when we got to three or four under, it was like, just started doing stuff that he didn't do to, that got us there. Uh, a little ahead of yourself, we could say. But um, I've, seen, I've seen videos of Neil play a lot before. I know he's, he, he strikes it good, drove it good today. Um, that helps. And your distance control with your irons helps a lot. Especially if, for a caddy, you know, you try and like it was easy to pull that club when I know you're going to hit the right distance with your club. So just relax out there a little bit as yeah. best you can. But that was that was fun. It did well. Well, thanks, man. Yeah, that absolutely. was like truly was a thrill. Yeah, like that fun. one. That I don't care if it's from the Reds. That, that <laughs> felt really good.